Hi guys, welcome to uh, another update for Space Engineers. There's been a few way up uh, way updates to the game lately. The biggest one is you can now mine um, the asteroids and now mineable. So a lot of people are building mining ships, like I have done here. As usual, I've gone a bit overboard on size, but yeah, you know what I'm like. Um, top there is a collection point, and I will show you how that works in a bit. Over the front section here is a load of aerials for communications and whatnot, and it looks cool. We have reverse engineers, the uh, engines there, plus reverse engines in the bottom for a little bit of maneuverability. Uh, it's actually not too bad maneuver wise for the size of it. Um, it could do with the yaw seems to just wander on its own. I don't know why. Like uh, down here, I have more engines, and also uh, this is contained in a few gravity generators which I've put in for my mining system. That's basically what this is down here for. I added the engines after. See a fair few engines in. Plenty of power to go forward. As always, I have a bucket ton of engines on the back. Um, while I'm outside, there is another wing addition, as you see in the top right hand corner there, for rotating your blocks and that will change depending on your orientation which can be a little confusing if you're messing about but it's not too bad it is helpful um, also one of the other patches before this one they added symmetry so now you can get symmetry along a number of planes there which is very handy as well that's how I built this uh, craft this time using the symmetry uh, tool for a change it's the first time I've used it and it's pretty good, I have to say. It is a nifty wee tool. Um, as we go over here, you see this wee tower on top of here will be one for a miner to take control of the ship so that he can position this big thing here in the correct position needed for collecting the rocks. Now if we go up you can see I have a light under there so your pilot can see what's going in. Also a gravity generator there to pull any rocks that I mine down into the collector. As you can see there's a few rocks in there because I have tried it. Uh, there are lights inside the corners here which will put this grid work on top which I actually saw another guy do. I thought that was a good idea so I'll steal that. Uh, now the gravity will pull the rocks down into the spacecraft. <laughs> There's a fair few rocks on top of my ship there, as you can see, that have rolled down uh, the sides. Here is my little ship for actually doing the mining. Obviously, your drills now collect um, rocks as well, and I have them in a container that's around the side there. So. This is the same. As it's always been. But now you select one. And I actually have a sound as well. As you can see around the side there I've got a container. Uh, I have an extra engine on the back there as well for when this thing gets heavy. You know, with the weight, I can kick that in, and it will. Uh, oh shit! Fire up. Oh. You know, I can turn that engine on. It'll give me a bit more thrust. I think the gravity well below me is a little bit powerful. I'm not going very far. But I don't want to go really fast anyways because if you if you do fly too fast into these things you can break your tools and equipment so 
you know, mining's a slow job, no big rush. Um, I haven't actually mined any gold yet, I haven't seen any. I've just been messing around with this, trying to get it working. Um, the proper ship would need a two-man crew to run it, due to the way I have the gravity in this thing. Um, turn the lights on. Oops, I'm always pressing T instead of... Oh, I forgot I had what's it on this. Uh, instead of V for my views. This is a lot more picky moving than last time. Some hard rock. Oh, that's what I was digging. Yeah, there we go. So the ship can be moved, the larger ship can be moved up and down so that that gravity well. I've got it on a pulse, we can go into the holes and collect the stuff easier. See the stones dropping down there and rolling in, and they all drop down the hole. You see, some of the stones are still up here, so the gravity well could do with being moved up. And I'll put the ship back in and show you where the stones go. Now the the drill bits themselves do collect um, stone as well, so you know. Uh, uh, too quick. The weight of your ship will be uh, heavier. Come on! I'm not used to it being reverse controls. I'm used to it being you know down for up and up for down. So, uh, this thing has got a bit heavier, so I'm going to need to put the, the bigger engine on. Bit more thrust. I think the game's also lagging due to all the stones that are uh, around. So, fingers crossed they'll make a 64 bit version soon and get some more memory use for this. I have got that memory thing running, but still the game lags like mad so they need to sort that out this is my wee hangar that I built for the mining craft it's a little bit too friggin manoeuvrable this thing I'm a little bit out on that.
Now this I've actually built the feet to be near enough level with underneath so that obviously when it's digging into the hole it's not uh, going to rip its feet off or anything like that. You know, the, the ship will fit into a hole and just keep digging until it comes out the other side which is uh, quite handy. Obviously I have containers inside feet magnetized down so these drills have containers on them so if you hit K it takes you in tells you what the weight is and you can put that in your inventory and then you can take it around to you know the containers you've got and just dump it in the container You know, just add it to what's already in there, or you can collect it all up yourself and then drop it. Um, now, the rocks, if they're big enough, do actually do a lot of damage to your craft. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to show you that because this thing's on auto save and I don't want to wreck it. But I'll collect all the rocks. And it, it combines them all into one, um, one boulder. Once you've collected them, so you know they might be put into pieces. And I wouldn't actually get into digging anything, but uh, I'll give it care now. And you drop that. You see, that's a large, large rock, and it's affected by gravity. You do also have the hand drill, which works in the same way, pounds away, but it only it doesn't work where your crosshairs are. It only works where the drill's contacting the rock. Uh, it also works for ships. You get different debris for uh, banging through your ship, so you could hull breach a ship with the wee hand drill as well. But um, as you see, the wee hanger. Now the way I've got this ship set up at the minute, gravity is a little bit funky, as you see. Um, due to how the rocks are travelling through this part of the pipe, see this is. The underneath of that sh of uh, the big collector, there. and then it comes down this tube out there and into a hopper. Uh, the cup is over there, but that's not really what you want to see, is it? So uh, auto save again. So you would kind of get out this way, come down. Obviously, I've got everything set out on the other side. Uh, you come out of here. We walk way down the ladders up this set of stairs here uh, into this is where all the rocks get collected from or collected to. They come out of this tube here as you see they'll get dumped down there this is where they get spat out there now uh, if this was operational there would be another crewman down here who has control of this now as you know this is another you know area for flying it but it controls the gravity generators I think it's number two for down here Oops, wrong button. there now that puts gravity normal again as you see all the rocks are falling down all over the place so not knowing how the um, lifts and things you know the escalators are not going to work yet 
this is where all your rocks collect. Now to collect them you just hold T and you can scoop them all up. So if the conveyors work as I'm hoping they'll do, because there's doors all around them you could probably connect them all up so I could connect the conveyors all the way along here and send them through into the next room which is the refinery area. Let's just turn this back on again so I know what I'm up to. Because I'll forget and then the rocks will build up in the wrong place. I mean there are other gravity generators on here obviously to, to try and make gravity for the other areas. But through here will be the refinery area, the assembly etc etc you know for whatever they're used for. So as you can see the gravity is a bit funky at the minute due to having that one at the back on. So obviously while the mining operation is going, you know, this area will probably be off, off limits to personnel. Only the dude that's sat in here controlled on it. And then when the mining operation is finished, turns off the extra gravity generator, gravity's back to normal on the ship. That is the plan anyways. Uh, whether it works like that, whenever the full game, whenever they start adding more things comes in, I don't know. All this may need changing, but you know, I can collect a fair bit of rock in here. As you saw, you know, I've been mining for 20 30 minutes for that bit that was in there. So, fingers crossed, I need to block all this off as well at some point they're gonna sort the the slowing of the game out because you know there's no point mining if it goes damn slow at the same time I'll give you a quick view of the cockpit not that there's back into normal gravity there, not that there's a lot going on see the game seems to really slow down whenever there's rocks about it's not a frame rate thing it's just the game really slows so this is the cockpit area so you can see above you so you can get into a sort of position before the other guy takes over and you know finally positions it so they really need to sort out the the gameplay speed because it looks like I'm running in slow mode like on Baywatch but that's just due to the fact that there are small rocks everywhere and there's the weird gravity kicking him. But that's all that that slow mo running is due to. It's not taxing the computer or frame rates dropping or anything like that. It's just because of the wee stones. So hopefully that will be fixed in another patch. But yeah, the large ship manoeuvres pretty well for what it is. And obviously that gravity gen can go up into the hole a, f a certain distance. And suck more of the stones down into it. So fingers crossed it'll uh, it'll work as I want it to and the beacons are if it's a you know you're in a dark section covered by stones you can see where the hangar is and whatnot. so guys that is my overcomplicated collection unit for mining um, let us know what you think please like the video please subscribe to the channel um, I'm really enjoying Space Engineers so I'm probably going to put even more uh, videos up it soon of other builds that I fancy doing. Uh, just random spacecraft. Um, I'm probably may still modify this a little bit, but for now I'm going to call that near enough done. Uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and see you all again soon.